Everybody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Sheesh. All right, boys. Back to work on the Elite as if you guys saw the last video, um, basically the last couple videos, I've been building this motor for this thing. I picked up this Elite 50 and it was just taking it all apart, put the motor back together, put some new piston rings in it, freshen the bike up, stock carb piece, um, and it had the stock exhaust. Uh, also in the last video I changed out the US spec tail light for a JDM spec and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all it's done to the bike. But today, as you see, we got a pipe right here. We're putting on this S23 pipe because well, I rode the 50 and it was just not satisfying. And it has an exhaust leak because I'm missing the gasket for that type of exhaust. But I have one for this one, so I'm just going to throw this exhaust right on. Hopefully this lines up. These things never line up. I swear. Sheesh! All right, new pipes on there. Um, little S23 piece, just a V8 pipe. Um, but uh, of course, just like every pipe, I swear, I have to drill out these holes a bunch because once you put the gasket in, it spaces it forward and then these holes don't line up no more. They're way too far forward. I think when they do these and they mock them up, they don't use a gasket and that's probably why. Just that little bit makes a big difference. But basically drill it out. As you can tell how the hole is now, you can tell how the hole is a little bigger right there now, but you drill it out and then then also uh, Just because I want to make sure it had a good seal because it's kind of iffy on this one I put some Honda bond in there just to make sure to see the squish See the little squish right there means we got a tight seal of the Honda bond going around too, so That's good. I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit while I'm doing that I'm gonna go ahead and check this plug um, and then I'm gonna probably clean the carb again because I don't, I don't know if I cleaned all that oil out. It seemed kind of iffy. I ran out of carb cleaner when I did, so I didn't go my fullest, but uh, I got some more carb cleaner. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean that up again. And Best thing to use for that too, is one of these like Christmas tree step up bits. Get that and just go through there and keep mocking it up until it lines up good. All right, just put the new pipe on. Like I showed you guys, just clean the carbs as well. Also uh, changed the fuel lines out a little bit. We're running a hundred times better now. Stock airbox, stock carb. I found out some of my problems yesterday because the scooter died after I first rode it yesterday. Um, the spark plug had like this little like suction cup thing and it just was not letting it go all the way on for sparks. It was running really weird yesterday. After I filmed the video, I went and tried to do some wheelies later and the scooter kept dying out. It sounded like it wasn't getting spark. It turned out it was an issue, but I'm about to go try it now. <laughs> it's so much faster than it was yesterday with the stock pipe on. She better hit a flyby at least though. It's get on it. <laughs> sounds so much better with that pipe on it. Actually sounds like a two stroke. Okay, shoddy. 
Way better? Yeah. Way faster, huh? Feels good. <laughs> All right, so I was just riding around the scooter for a while now, tuning it up, um, and uh, I figured I'm just gonna throw the GoPro on while I do this, just to mess around a bit. But she gets it for a stock 50. Man, it's so windy out right now. <laughs> I mean, for a 50 though, this thing rips, dude. I can't lie. This thing's pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. Did not want to hit that bump. What the fuck hits? The kickstand? Does this thing sit that low? Where the kickstand would hit? Oh, I guess it really does. Ah, oh, I see. The exhaust on this thing has a weird stopper, but it actually sits lower than it would stock, it looks like. It sits too low. <laughs> you hear him screaming? I want to see what he's going to say. Let's see. Yes, sir! <laughs> Damn, I got something in my eye, though. That's not funny. I just had to pull off. I got some shit in my eye. Ow! What the fuck? Boys, it's a melee! Can't see on my eye! Oh my god! Dude, what the f But I cannot see, I'm legally blind! That's my story, I'm sticking to it, I'm in it! Get her a little more lean, I feel like. Scrape the rear fender, ready? Wow, that's far back. <laughs> the wind's fighting me hard. That was me just fighting the wind so hard to keep it straight. There she goes. Seems like she likes that better. Over the bump. She's really liking that. Swerve of the car. They're painting the interior of their car pink. Come to a stop. There we go, there's the fender. Dude, the wind is crazy. I don't know if you guys can hear it or see it, but like, it comes and goes, so I'll be leaning against it. And then the wind disappears and I almost fall. The feds were right there too. It's literally swerving me in the wind. There we go. It's liking that. 
someone said I was chasing wheelies the other day on one of my videos. They're like, stop chasing wheelies. First of all, on Chuck's scooter, he has a slammed front end. So when you slam it down, you don't want to just drop it. Instead of it slamming down on the front, because they're really not meant to be wheelies. It's not like we're riding dirt bikes out here. And you wheelie and you can just drop it. I try to give it gas all the way throughout when I'm coming down so it lands softly. Especially on something with these weak of front ends. Like the shock setup on these. Drop back. Brake. <laughs> All right, like you guys saw, this thing's running really good now. So it's liking this new pipe a lot. It's brought out a lot more power to this bike. Um, it did wheelie. It was kind of, it was all right when it was a stock pipe. I wish I probably should have filmed more, but there's no reason. Honestly, this pipe just changed it. Might have to hold out on the 72 swap for a little bit because I haven't seen the Pliny Corsa in stock um, lately. But um, worst comes to worst, I'll do the Molosi cast. We'll go ahead and put the rest of the scooter together now though. And um, I still have to clean the plastics on the rest of the scooter because I've never put on the bottom skirts. So I gotta bring that black back to life how I did um, the rest of the scooter. So uh, the sun fade is a no go. Seat cover needs to be replaced bad, but. She's getting on there. Just uh, did this plastic side with the torch. Now all you gotta do this side, as you can see the difference. And then uh, put back to black. And then I'm gonna shine the plastics up a little bit and this thing should be uh, cleaned up and ready to rip around a lot more. Back to black. Um, gonna hit it, hit the air box piece too. And uh, watch how much this thing shines up. Grubbing, and we're about to hit this uh, McGuire's plastic and bring these purple plastics back to life. Look at this. Right? Start. Also my first ever Elite that has a working cluster, working stock tail light, headlight, working blinkers, everything like that. First one. Alright boys, that's going to do it for the Elite S for today. This thing's shined up, this thing's running good, it's ready to ride. And as you guys saw, this thing wheelies like a dream, especially with this new pipe. I feel like it just opened up the bike so much more. More wheelies, more time put in on this thing, and then sooner or later it's going to be time for a 72 on this so if you guys are stoked if you guys are stoked for the 72 kit make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on this video and follow along with the build also leave a comment down below what upgrades you guys want to see on this elite s before we go uh, full build into it so that's gonna do it for this one i'll see you guys on the next one